Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Liz here and today I have my sister with me. She's going to be watching for this video. Today we are going to be making scones. One, the first thing you need to do is wash your hands. But once you have washed your hands like I have, I will go through the ingredients. First thing you'll need is 170 millilitres of milk, 350 grams of safe self-raising flour, 50 grams of raisins, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, hot 1 quarter of a teaspoon of salt and 3 tablespoons of self-raising flour. <laughs> Sugar. Are you still filming? Yeah. No. I'm just gonna egg. Should we get Anna to do it instead? Yeah. Uh, Anna, you can go through the ingredients. I can't do it. Thank you for that, Anna. The equipment you will need is a pastry brush, a cup with a bit of milk in, a big bowl, some weighing scales, a baking tray with flour on and a cutter. The first thing you'll need to do is pour your flour, self-raising flour, into the bowl. And then you'll want to open your baking powder and do one teaspoon, teaspoon of it and put it into the flour. In, you want to get a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and you want to mix that up with your hands. We are making vegan scones because my parents are vegans, and you, we are using oat milk. But you can use any kind of milk and we are using and we are also using vegan non-dairy margarine. You can use any you can use any kind of butter. Once you have added the salt, you want to add the butter. 85 grams of butter. And you want to mix it up so it looks like breadcrumbs. You can use a spoon. But I'm using my hands because it's quicker and easier. The way to make it like breadcrumbs is if you rub it in between your fingers with your thumb like this. And once it is in the breadcrumbs, you'll want to put your three, three tablespoons of butter sugar into the mixture. This might get a bit messy, so you might want to get an adult to help. Once you have put that in, you'll want to turn your oven on to 220 degrees or gas mark 7. And then you want to stir or make, rub the sugar and the butter and the flour into the sugar and then you want to add your raisins and you want to mix that in well, once you have mixed that in you might want to put you will put a bit a bit of your milk in each time And then you'll want to mix that up. Keep adding.
putting little bits of the milk in. When you only have a little bit left, you can get someone to pour it in. Once that has all come together, you want to put it out, take it out of the bowl and put it onto your floured worktop. And you want to flatten it down, but don't work it too hard because it, it won't come become a circle but you'll want to get it about two centimetres thick you want to get a cutter and you want to cut it make make sure you don't turn the cutter else it won't rise in the oven once that is cut you want to take bring it over to your tray Carefully take it out of the cutter and place it onto the tray. And then you want to keep going, keep going until you can't do it anymore. So I'm just going to get my sister to do it. Okay, so push it down, make sure not to spin it. And then you want to pull it out. Right, push it down, all the way down. Now pull it out. Okay. Once it is out, might lie, you might want to get an adult to help you take it over to the baking tray. And you want to put it onto the baking tray. And then you want to keep going. To get your cup of milk with the pastry thingy <laughs> and you want to spread it on the top make sure not to get it on the sides else they won't rise because they will stop the sides from getting bigger you want to do every one and then when they are in the oven you want to put them in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. If you don't want to go near the, near the heat, you can always get an adult to help. see you in 10 to 12 minutes. When they are about to ping, you can get ready to take them out. I'm just, I'm gonna get my adult helper to take mine out because it, it's gonna be really hot because it's been in the oven for quite a while. Once they've pinged, I'm going to get my adult helper to take them out. As you can see, my adult helper has helped me take them out of the oven and they are nice, they are golden brown and are ri have risen nicely. Thank you Anna for helping me and you might be in another video soon. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.